Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're having an issue with the recording stopped error in the snipping tool. And it reads that something happened and we've stopped recording. Wait a bit, then try again. If this continues, send us your feedback. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys, on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. First thing I would suggest doing would be to open up the search menu, type in programs, best match, or come back with add or remove programs. Go ahead and open that up. In the search apps field at the top, type in snipping. Best result, or come back with snipping tool. Select the three dotted icon next to it and select advanced options. Scroll down underneath reset. If the app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. The app's data won't be affected. Select repair. And if you're still having a problem, you can select the second option, where if the app still isn't working right, reset it. The app's data will be deleted. Select Reset. This will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign-in details. Select Reset. Once that's done, close out of here. Open up the search menu and type in Graphics. Best match, or come back with Graphics Settings. Open that up. In the searches list field, you can go ahead and search for snipping tool. If you don't see it, you may have to go versus add an app, desktop app, click the drop down and select Microsoft Store app and then browse. Now at this point, you go ahead and locate the snipping tool on this list. And now select options. Select where it says high performance and then select save. And then once that's done, close out of here and restart your computer. One final thing we can look at as well, if you are extending your display projection, you may want to tap the Windows and the P key on your keyboard simultaneously, and then select PC screen only, and then see if that resolves the problem as well. So something else to take a look at. So pretty straightforward process, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.